Hello and welcome, I'm the Emperor, and this is Crusader Kings 3, which we're playing over on the Twitch, so maybe go check that out as well. We are down here in the Middle East, playing as the Sassanid Dynasty, having restored the Persian Empire, and we're currently engaged in helping our allies in the Holy War for Jerusalem, which is going fairly well. Now our troops are soon to be arriving. And until then, we're just going to deal with what the court does. Okay. All right. Do you see what I see? This man has made himself our court chancellor. Now, he is not horrible. I grant you that. But I am very much not inclined to allow these kind of things. I don't want to be a tyrant, though. I, I, I never do that. Murdering eight years. Can I invite someone to this? How much do you cost me? 137. I'll take it. I've not once allowed anyone to bribe himself on my court and live. That's a death penalty. Basically instantaneously. Let the traitor be known to all. Throw him in a jail. Let's see, what army leader do we have? Do we have someone with the siege thing? Oh, might become our soulmate. Well, not become our soulmate. We want a soulmate. Let's go. Very good. And thus we have soul men, a soulmate. Mate. A former wife of our father. Let's keep it all in the family. <laughs> I'm at a loss for words. Okay, some bastards. There we go. Siege leader always up in the sieges. A faction was created against us. Suffered Empire. All right. Knight became blade master. Very good. I did. Your sister is a 26 commander. She sure is. I have less knights, but I have the women on my side. And that is, you know, basically a guaranteed win. Very little they can do about that. The women in our army. Shevskis. War declared. Independence War. Okay, okay, slow this down here. Alright. That was very unceremonious. That was like, hello, we're doing this now. Thank you. We're gonna absolutely crush them though. So we're gonna abandon our siege here. And go straight back home. And try and find those fools. Where do they even live there? Are you joking? <laughs> okay, then. All right, then. They have to take... Don't they not? Do they not have to take Baghdad? Hmm. No, I have to take their stuff. They just have to defend it. All right. It's okay. We're gonna go straight in here, and all of this is fair game, basically, so we're just gonna go walk there. And we get a new perk, Defensive Negotiations. Fellow Vassal Opinion plus 15, doesn't help us. Independent Ruler Opinion plus 15, eh, can propose alliances without marriage. That's pretty decent. I'm not so sure where we might be able to do that. But that's okay. Let's go crush those fools here. I Oh, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, so we can put some family members in here as well after that's done. This is actually pretty practical for us. I dare say. Such a pleasant man. So we became friends with this guy. And we won all down there in Jerusalem. Our war contribution wasn't so high, so we got only a little of prestige, but it's okay. 
Okay, let's organize our army here so we don't lose money, but we earn money. And also... I'm still trying to kill that guy. Let's see, holy orders. So these guys are of our religion, so that doesn't work here. But it's good to see that we have that option. Oh, very good. Look at our allies uh, raising their troops for us. I don't even think I need to raise more than what we already have in the field here. Can, we can just go. Might as well go straight for their heartland there. Because we are fully surrounding them. We have borders to everything that he has. So we're not going to suffer any attrition in this. If we just go for it straight. Money-wise, I'm not too willing to spend anything right now. Oh, inheritance. We inherited the Emirate of Philippolis and two other titles. We inherited a cheap Sassanid sword. We have a better one. But now we need to get rid of this. And where is it? Philippolis is up here. So we're just going to grant this boy all of it. There we go. Including the Shadam. There we go. Why do I have some troops standing around here? <laughs> I probably had these standing around ever since we had succession. Let's check the outliner. Okay, only one army left. Sometimes that happens. On succession. Suddenly there's an army just standing around there. Liege conversion halted. Okay. Well, I mean, he died. That would generally work. Not in the favor. Okay, let's negotiate some internal alliances here. Because we can. Oh boy, that actually, that might have been that thing that we just unlocked. That we suddenly have all these internal alliances ready for us. Didn't have these before. Like, that's crazy. That's good. That's, you might think, crazy good. So outside it's not going to be so easy. No one really cares. I think our allies will reach our enemy before we do. Let's speed this up a bit. We are just walking around here. Let's put someone else in maybe. Do we have an organizer or something? Yeah, we do. We have a bunch of organizers. That helps them move quicks. And always throw people in jail when you can. Never know. A spy master? Sadly, we have no one who's good at that. So we're just going to put this guy in. Or our mother. 21 versus 29. I'd rather have the 29, honestly. We're not befriending anyone, so he's a prime target for befriending. Oh, 15%? Okay, he's not the prime target for befriending. We have some more... Taxation lads. Taxmen to befriend. Imagine! Imagine you could just... Become a friend with the person in charge of your taxes. Basically, imagine being rich. <laughs> uh, let's destroy the Sassanid sword. I mean... We do have a better one, a much better one, so... You can always give these things to your to your heirs and stuff, but I always forget, and then I don't do it, and then it's too late. So let's give him... some of these things that we're currently not using, like this thing he can have. I don't know why this is a warning. Why warn me about this? I'm just gonna give him some things that I'm not using right now. Yeah, we'll take this option. Where is his army even? Like, where is he? Oh, he's up there. Hmm... 
Let's just trust his abilities. Okay, he improved it. So do <clears throat> we need to we need to we need to take on some supplies. This is not good for us. Don't want my people to starve here, please. Thank you. Our allies just flood into the enemy lands. We might have to go north and fight them back there. Let's see a courtier of ours. Doesn't give us any alliances, so we don't care. But we're going to put him in, let's say, diplomacy education. What's going on here? Mercenaries. Okay, yeah, yeah. We're losing his stuff in the north. So the game is like, oh no, you're losing. Get mercenaries quick. Quick. Things are bad for you. Let's see. Leaves prison. Someone gets some stuff. Uh, okay, we're going to go here. And we're going to... Raise all our men at arms there because there's gonna be more knights and stuff. Karen will go free today. Sure. Agent removed from scheme. I mean this this thing here is not happening. Let's cancel this. Need a marshal. Sadly, all of our good marshals are now bad. Or the strong anyone. Anyway. Sucks to suck. Sucks to suck. So we got two new knights here waiting for our army. Oh. One of them just died? Or something? I think. That's kind of not cool. So we're just going to beat back our vassal up here now. They do have the numbers. But I think... We have the power. Oh. No. That commander is actually the best commander for this. Open terrain expert. Attrition taken in mountains down. Okay, alright. World is harsh and sudden. Okay, so. Okay, great. The guy we were just trying to convince here. Oh, man. Good aptitude. I know, cousin. Let's put him in. And let's befriend him. So because we were befriending him, it cost us extra stress because he died. He wasn't even our friend yet. That's crazy. That is crazy. Search for time. Nah. What are we even looking at? Ways to reduce our stress. That's, I think, what I was looking at. Oh, oh, oh. We get Confider. Not the best thing there. Not the best, but it's one of the better ones. Request divorce. Denied. But what we can do now is we can do a decision here. And we can talk to a confidant. And that will lower the opinion of everyone. <laughs> except the confidant in our court. So, it's not ideal. It's not ideal. <laughs> not ideal at all. Where are they going? Okay, so we're going to catch them. And we have some support coming in anyway. Did they all abandon all their sieges now? Of course they did. Oh, fascination has been discovered. Horseshoes. So now we go for the Manganels. Let's hit it. 14 years. And communal government is almost there as well. Counties now reach existing development penalty at 35. I don't think that actually matters for us. We are not at... Oh, we actually were 46. Okay, one of our wives died. That means new wife for us. So... Can't I get my soulmate in here? I would like to marry you. Can I? Am I allowed to? This is me. Oh. I get to marry my soulmate. 
Love prevails. To think that I can embrace you openly now with the blessing of both Allah and the people around us. Oh, would you look at that? Come on, convert though. Be a true practitioner here. And we become friends with someone. That wasn't actually the person we wanted to become friends with, but that's okay. Where's my army going? Nowhere, <laughs> just standing around. Okay, uh, we're gonna go down and attack them here now. A university student paid some money. No. I'm not spending money on my friend schemes, thank you. Our enemy is running into some people here. Culture discovered communal government. Okay, what are we influenced next? Where are we influenced next? Chronicle writing. You can press several of your claims in one more. That sounds much better than it is, sadly. It really, really sounds like a lot of cool stuff opens up with that, but it really doesn't. So, okay, so our development is 46 here. And the penalty is now minus 4.22. It was much higher before. Ah, oh, our soulmate is pregnant while it, while married to us. So that means a legitimate kid. Nice. Our, gra our grandfather had some good taste, I must say. It's undeniable. Let's put in a siege lad again. Because that's what's happening at the moment. So sieging. Okay, we have so, so many good commanders in here. Oh, we became best friends with our tax collector. Or traditional Raymond. I do not need things to legitimize my rule. That is true. I'm going to take the piety. Because it's kind of low. And you never know when you need piety. Potential alliance negotiations. <laughs> Let's go. Throw her in jail. We made another friend. So chat. Tell me. Using the befriend option. And YouTube as well in the comments. Who do you target most to befriend? Who do you think should be your friends most in this? And maybe in real life. I'm gonna go with this. Let's encourage their bond and ensure the visit goes well. And, well. Relationship remains the same. Fine. Could have got worse. Let's continue with our tax collectors here. How they're swarming around us. These guys are actually pretty prolific siege masters. Like, they are taking our stuff. Each alliance grants plus one, maximum of five politics. Nice. 26 diplomacy. There we go. I'll take it. Thank you. By the way, has anyone here checked out... Um, what's it called? Nice. Played it a bunch this day and I already forgot. <laughs> already forgot the name. Uh, Stormgate. Anyone here check that out? If so, what are your thoughts? What does diplomacy even get you? Oh, I like that you ask because it's one of my favorite things. And there's our son. A little Hossein. <sighs> What's Hossein going to be? He's learned. I think he's going to go after our grandfather. He was also learned. I'll come to your question in a moment. Let me let me just get Jose in a good good something. Let's make the age difference five maximum. And inheritable, we already got that. We don't want matrilineal, honestly, because he's a boy. Let's go with some of all skills. 
And we're going to give him the intelligent calmly one. Or, I mean, intelligent and calmly is probably ideal. We don't really have those traits in our family yet. So we're going to go with that. Yeah, I un uncheck the match early and all. Thanks. Uh, okay, so. Diplomacy, what does it do? Diplomacy is amazing. Because what it does is it gives a general opinion modifier, plus 19 in this case. So everyone is just going to like us a little bit better. Plus 19. Increases effectiveness of diplomacy schemes. So uh, things like uh, befriending and this stuff, that works a little bit better. But the general opinion modifier, that is the best thing. Uh, monthly prestige, I think you get that with anything else anyway. But you are uh, the man to get everyone to be your friend. Speaking of which, let's have a little party. Let's have a little party. At home. In Baghdad. And let's befriend someone. Because we can. We should be befriend. Our vassal, our vassal, tax collector and vassal. I think that's the guy we're working on anyway. Let's just go with someone here. This guy. And we'll also make him the honorary guest if I can. Yep. Nice. So we're totally working this guy. Let's go. So personally, I love diplomacy as a focus. It's really good. Hashna Hossein. Please don't cry him now. Our love child is sick. This guy is really sieging me. Hey, he's taking everything in the north here. It's crazy. And we're barely, barely getting down his, uh, his headquarters, his home. His capital. Oh no. Ah darn. Okay. You have what? Seven prowess? Sure. Let's do that. High and medium. And we're going to go for high and low. Oh yeah. Sure. Learn it. You're already winning I think. Has happened very high and high. Okay, so we need to go for low, low, medium, high. Ah, let's go with this one. Medium, low, high, high. No, medium. Let's go with medium, low here. And we are victorious. What did I want to do just now? Ah. I forgot. <laughs> All right, I wanted to find the next thing which we need to siege. And that's that thing. Okay, they're just winning, so we just need to wait. So they don't switch around and do weird things while we starve here. Come on, finish your siege, please. There we go. 93% and force demands. So that's nice. Oh, that's a lot of expired alliances right there. Get this bond. Right. Time to revoke some titles, eh? And I'm going to revoke this whole shebang from you. That is very much your problem. Okay. And now... Guess what? Our little son is going to get some titles. He's going to get... All of this. There we go. Hossein has qualities you lack. <laughs> Clan favoritism. I simply cannot understand why you granted the Emirate of Nishapur to Hossein. My rightful claim on these lands is acknowledged by you all. Well, he has qualities you simply lack. I mean, he's a zero year old son. That's the quality you lack. 
What are you? Uh, why do I have her in prison? I don't mind. You can have her. I'll take that. For sure. 200 gold for something I didn't even realize was happening. Mm -hmm. Why don't we have an alliance here, huh? We don't necessarily need one, let's be honest. Oh, Jerusalem wasn't completely taken. They just took Jerusalem, basically. <laughs> Alright, interesting. Inspired person can now be sponsored. Uh, wait. What court artifact do we have lying around here? Persian urn. urn. With which we can't do anything because we have better things anyway. It doesn't give us health. Powerful vassal. Co I mean, it's not terrible, but it's also not great. No, I think we're good. I think we're pretty good. Let's see. Let's negotiate a bunch of alliances at home. Because we can. And into jail you go. I can jail you. I will jail you. Everyone in our realm. Alliances, alliances, alliances. Okay, let's see. Uh, 30 gold. The 10 golds is almost too much work. Or too little payoff. You want to pay me 100 to leave my prison? I mean... Okay. House unity and gold all in one fell swoop. Nice. I don't like how old our air is. What a nice distance to my heirs. Okay, 47% chance he becomes our friend. All of these are good. So we're going to take it. And... I don't know if it worked. Because this is hovering above that. Closer to your friendship. Okay. Comes a rival. Okay, we're gonna help him. Get a weak hook on him. I don't think we can make him our friend with a hook. Mm. Halt, we'll talk about this later. I don't care. Inspirations for an armor. I think we have a good one, don't we? Yeah, we have a really good one. Sure. Highly esteemed. And then we didn't manage to make them our friend at the feast, but that's okay. We made some progress in the eager reveler trait. Where are we at at this? Where is it even? Mm. Where is my eager reveler? Am I blind? I don't see it. <laughs> huh. All right then. A new spy master required, and they're all bad. So we're gonna put this guy in because he's kind of good. Okay. Worthy successor. There you go. And we can reinstate one. How? That. 
Okay, fine. I don't care. Oh, I don't care. 10 golds. What is in our prison? Could we just mass release them for ransom? I think there's no one in here that we need. So we're just going to mass ransom them all. I just clean our prison a little bit. And earn some money. And then we can build our stuff. The better stables. Good on light horses here. Now we're gonna upgrade what brings us money first. We want money first. It's more important. Okay then. So, I'm thinking like we... Will we play through this? I'm gonna do a poll. I'm gonna do a poll. How far are we gonna play this campaign? Because at this point, like, we've done a bunch. I don't really... Like... Okay, like we got an achievement out there. We managed. We built our empire. How long will we play on this? And I think I'm going to do a poll on the Twitch right now. And we're going to set like an end year. 1050, 1100, 1150 or something. And then we're going to decide what we're going to do next. So let me find the Twitch stuff. Oh boy. And let me get to the creator dashboard. Stream manager and up comes the poll. New poll. Until which year shall we continue our current playthrough? So uh, what did I, <laughs> what did I say? 1050, 1050, 1100, 1150. Hey, I'll put up a vote in a moment. Uh, then you can vote. So we're gonna let it run for five minutes. Poll is up. Everyone who would like to contribute with their voice may do so. Now. Oh, it should be up, isn't it? Yeah, pull this up. I mean, it's still always more to experience, but once I get to a certain size of the empires, I, I, I kind of get sluggish. I don't I don't move all that much anymore. I'm way too concerned with what's happening inside our realm than really caring about expanding it any further or anything. So, you know. That's a good song there. Uh, what claim do you have? The Shaktim of Safatra. I don't care. Goodbye. <laughs> Let's check which wars we can declare. Maybe there's something cool in there. Not really. I mean... <sighs> There isn't really anything interesting in here. All the war for a kingdom would be interesting. Pontus. Bulgaria. Sicily. <laughs> oh, 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 the Holy Roman Empire. Splintered. 
broken. I didn't even think that was possible. That is crazy. Well, that's kind of insane. This has existed for a while. Oh. It was destroyed in 1814. Okay. But the inheritance that really shouldn't do anything. I don't know why that broke. And now we're almost, if not the biggest player around, honestly. The Holy Roman Empire was the biggest thing that could oppose us. I think, I think, I think we're pretty much the strongest thing in this place here. Sure, we have some infighting, but eh, who cares? They are expanding into the Byzantine Empire. <laughs> That's all I care about. Shaktim of Haran. No, go away. Oh. I say we do this just for fun. I say we do this just for fun. <laughs> oh no 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 oh no darn that's not what I wanted to do I don't know how that even happened What did I click? <laughs> Literally, what did I click? And why is there no shortcut for this? That's <laughs> not where I want to raise my armies. Stop it. That's also not where I want to raise my armies. I want to raise them here. Move one of the flags there. Okay, so year 1050 is the winner of the poll. So till 1050 we're gonna play and maybe we get... Maybe we get the papacy done until then. And maybe we can dismantle it. So I want to bring everyone we can for this. Just because I think it's funny. So the decision here, what do we need to do? Dismantle the papacy. It's not landed, it's not at war. You completely control the region of Italia. Okay, that might be a little bit bigger of an ask than I need. But we can take care of the landing. Him being landed, that's something we can take care of right now. Let's befriend this man. Always be a friend with your, with your spy master if you can. So we're bringing the heat. Everyone ready? Everyone gathered? And yep, there we go. And we're gonna land right there. And then walk on there. I don't want to land straight into his face. Let's hold court while we do all this. I don't care. I shall eradicate this blasphemous nonsense right away. Let's go. I shall fell the beast. Yeah, I shall fell the beast. That's an event chain that is going to pop up in a moment, so... We'll just go with that.
Do we have soldiers everywhere? By the way, should we play something else tonight? I mean, we have an, we have enough people to play some King of the Castle as well, as an option. Face me, foul beast. 0% chance we die, so that's nice. Let's try and see if we get wounded. Monster killed. Monster killer. Gain the trade, hunter. We done did it. And I'm not going to do anything for a friend scheme that I'm already doing well on. Request divorce. Request divorce. What's up with you people? Stop trying to divorce. So what exactly is the region of Italia? Let's have a little check there. That is... Okay, yeah, that's basically the entirety of Italy. Oh, we do get to bump the, the Pope around a little bit, so that's fun. I bet you there's going to be holy wars for this. <laughs> My servants will search for a possible... My daughter. Oh boy, she's very dead. Lost the court physician at some point. Well, we're going to get a new one. And we're going to take the expensive one. Adaptive traditions, don't care. Not so interesting. It's good, but not interesting. Uh, uh, do recommend take drastic measures. Measures. Let's go. Disastrous mistreatment. Well done. Don't do that again, please. You killed one daughter. Let's try not to kill more. All right. Let's put in a siege lad. Oh wait, they are immediately attacking us again. Let's leave the guy in who's winning battles well. Our soulmate is pregnant again. Okay, so we have four wives and only our soulmate keeps getting pregnant. I must admit, I feel like there's a chance of these other women not taking their job very seriously. She survived the typhus despite the ter terrible mistreatment. Should we do Persian scriptures? I have never done this, but it's very expensive. I mean, if 1050 is our end date, we might just as well do it by then. At some point. They keep crashing into us, and they will keep doing so until they're completely dead. But look at our Azawira. They are completely... Uncountered and countering everything. They are fantastic. Oh, the papacy has gotten themselves some mercenaries here. And they keep coming for more. Still, completely uncountered. Just slaughtering away in there. Oh no! Hossein died! Not Hossein! Darn! It's a good thing that our wife is pregnant again. This will be a little bit annoying. They will keep doing this. And there he is. Oh no. That's a different one. Eh. A little Hussein. He's a he's a knockoff Hussein. It's just not the real deal. Look at all these little uh, victories here. Okay. And we are finally friends with our spy master. Let's see. Let's befriend our marshal. This army is finally completely destroyed. Look at this. <laughs> Our Aswari alone killed 334. That's just... Look at their kill rate. 350. 350. 
250. 350. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Where's this coming from? The Knights Templar. Okay, now. The Holy Order. We got all the advantage. Lots of uh, countering here. But they got something against the Asbari, the crossbowmen. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ah, a little daughter was born to us. So the Holy Order will keep running into us now. Until they're completely defeated, which will take a little while. Do I have a better command? I mean, he's doing great, yeah? Desert Warrior doesn't help us here. Reckless, aggressive attacker. Maybe a Holy Warrior. Also a county attrition. Uh, he's gonna win for sure. And he's bringing in even more mercenaries. <laughs> Goodness. This is... This is crazy. I mean, he has money. The Pope for sure has money. He has 6,000 troops, apparently. Wait. Can we get a Holy Order in here? Are they already hired? That's a big shame. Why are they always hired? That would be such a cool thing to, to pit our Holy Order against their Holy Order. I would like that. But we got our holy warrior in here. That, that needs to be enough. Let's enjoy the uh, lovely background noise of burning and people dying. I don't want to ransom him. Eventually, but at the moment he would just be another good general in this army. Oh boy. Why can't I look at this army? I would like to know who is leading this army, but I can't select it. Is that correct? Uh oh. Where did this come from? I think that's another holy order. Okay, now. Alright, now. Calm down now. <laughs> what is all this? Let's be reasonable. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, no, we don't have the... Oh, no. Why are they so expensive? <laughs> okay, let's get some mercenaries in here. I think some more light, light horse would be good. And, of course, they raised right there. Good stuff. They might never arrive. But I'm a little bit scared now. <laughs> like, what are they waiting for? They're waiting for someone to arrive here. That's what's going on. I'm telling you. That is what's happening here. And I don't like it. That army is waiting for someone. A new steward? And he's good. Thank you so much for the follow. Who is gaming 2020? We're gaming. How are you doing tonight? Hope you're having a good one. Also, no one has commented on my on my dice. Oh, my glowy dice right there. I had it in front of me all the time. Doing good, doing good. Nice. You're a Crusader Kings 3 player? Oh, no. I don't like that. That's equal. Can we get someone better here? Oh, no. We can't. That's also equal. 
Equal. Oh god. Oh god, who do we put in? <sighs> this guy is a better knight, I feel. Let's... Oh god. Reckless and Holy Warrior. I th the Holy Warrior gives him plus 10, so he gets up to 36. Desert Warrior doesn't help us. Oh god, we might get we, got, we might get kicked around here. So I like to ask this: How many hours do you have on Crusader Kings three? Oh, we're barely winning it. We are, but barely. And we befriend our our guy. So let's befriend this guy as well. Always curious to know. <laughs> oh god. 1200 hours. Boy, howdy, you're right. I have that between Crusader Kings 2 and 3. Uh, that's big. Good evening, Zergim. So I'm probably I'm probably gonna learn from you here. Let's be honest. You're an avid gamer. I bet you are. <laughs> okay, what other games do you play then? If you're an avid gamer, I'm assuming that's not your only game. That you are very proficient and happy about. Red Dead Redemption roleplay. Alright, okay. Also known as Red M. Okay, okay. That's amazing. Valheim, yeah. Good choice, good choice. Like me some Valheim. Cheap way of winning Hrumis' good graces. I don't know. I don't need good graces. Okay, so we keep winning here, but at what cost? <gasps> we have no commander. Did our commander just die? Yeah. He died. He died right then and there. Oh god, no. They somehow got more... Company of St. George. Oh god. Why are we so unpious? I mean, our troops that we're bringing in here should eventually arrive. I think our mercenaries might lose their contract before they arrive here. <laughs> it took so long to get here. This is a horrible situation I put myself in. Okay, luckily they didn't wait to combine up. So I have chance, a, a slight chance to win this still. Not a big one, but... A slight chance. Oh, okay, we're winning. I think we're winning. Oh, we're winning. So barely, but we're winning. Oh, goodness. Oh no. <laughs> and they come again with 7,000 troops. 8,000. We're bringing in some of our own reinforcements for once. And that pushes us over the edge. My God. Farming Simulator 19 and 22. Sea of Thieves. Sometimes projects on by lots of city builders such as Medieval Dynasty and Dawn of Man. The Pope is just something else. Another breed of warrior. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> oh my lord. He has a 39 commander in here. 
But listen, we're not so easily beaten. We can do this. We can win. It's so lucky that they have to cross the river. Wait, that isn't that isn't even in there. They don't even have to cross the river. I don't know how we keep winning. I don't know. We're not even so great on the counters or anything. It's just But if he brings yet another army, we're 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 completely done for. I can't afford more mercenaries, that's all we have. Okay, but I would <laughs> what I could do is bring in allies. Let's do that. Let's let's bring in the Caliph here. I don't need to sit on this razor's edge. I can I can ask for help, okay? I am a strong, independent Caliph. Uh no, Shashansha. And I can ask for help when I need it. And I think I need some help here. Because at the moment it's fine, but we are literally tapped out. If he gets another holy... Another holy company in here, we're done. It's the best marriage, by the way. Ugly and weak. <laughs> Great. Our Azawira are absolutely the MVPs of these. Including our house guard. Like, those two are doing it. We have completely eradicated their whole army once. It's looking good for us still. What are we doing today? Uh, that's a good question. We're going to play until 10.50 with this playthrough. And then we're going to be done with the Iranian Intermezzo. And then we're going to make a new choice. Uh, whether or not we're going to play a new uh, game of Crusader Kings 3. Or maybe... Oh, 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 we did it. We completely defeated the army. Completely routed them. We have beaten every holy order Christianity has to offer at the moment. Every single holy order. I mean, I would love to play another round of uh, King of the Castle. It's nice with uh, chat integration and everyone can kind of participate. But I don't want to lose half of my six followers here right now to switching the game. <laughs> Caliph is actually referred to the religious head of the Muslim faith in the game. That is correct. That is correct. And there they... What is this? Is this another holy order? I think so. Christianity is very intent on keeping Rome alive. We have been here for three years. I mean, that is actually a pretty cool story happening here with all these battles. What does chat think we should do next? After we reach 10.50, we're done with this campaign. We're done with this playthrough. So, chat, let's throw out some ideas. What, what are we going to do tonight? After we're done with uh, this particular playthrough. We could do more Crusader Kings 3, new playthrough, something like that. But there's also other options. Civilization 6, maybe. King of the Castle. Maybe even something entirely different, like Valheim or so. Which I think I have to download. Uh, oh no. Okay, this is what I feared. First army of Vaticano. I don't even know how he got 4,000 soldiers from somewhere. Uh -huh. Oh no. Welcome, Hawk666. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. You know what's better than CK3? More CK3. <laughs> that should almost earn you the VIP badge. <laughs> Just first time chat. Right there with the hot take. <laughs> Request divorce declined. White peace. Now that I'm winning, declined. No one divorces. Not here. Oh, we can train for the tournament. Let's go. Maybe become strong. Uh, no. No chance for us to become strong. Prowess go up. Are we strong? No. I mean, that's my fear, you know? It's it's hard on this lower level of Twitch to garner an audience, to have people there. And then everyone comes for a specific thing, like Crusader Kings. 
We captured the Pope. And you know who never showed up? I mean, they're on the way and we cost them like 180 gold, but... Let's go. He doesn't even have hostages. What a fool. <laughs> take the Pope's hat. Can I? Can I take the Pope's hat? Is he is he still my prisoner now? No, I don't think so. No, he's no longer my prisoner. There's an artifact? Yeah? Huh. I could try and befriend him. Where is he? Where are you? He's still here. Okay. How do I take his hat? I don't know this. Okay, do we have another son? Daughter, daughter, daughter. Oh. So we're just gonna give all of this to our main heir. He can have all of this. Yeah, I mean, I understand that the hard hat is an artifact that I might be able to steal, but how do I get to it? Let's see Catholicism. How do I steal his head? <laughs> I mean, where is he now? He's still here. He still sits in Rome. I c Can I make him a vizier? Oh, we never appointed a vizier. Let's do a vizier. Oh, tax collector and best friend. Let's go. Let's make him our vizier. Gives us extra tax jurisdiction, which we absolutely do not need. He needs a few days to move out. Give him time. Okay, fine. We'll give him some time. Actually, what we're going to do... I never do that all that much, but we're going to convert here. <laughs> Let's put this guy back to training our commanders. And you want to have single combat with me? Sure, let's do it. And medium, low, very high, high. Oh, let's go for that. Let's get some injury risk. Medium, low, low, medium. Let's go. It's here, low, low, no medium, high, low. Let's go for high, low then. And we are victorious, so that's taken care of. Okay, prisoners can be ransomed. Now we can get this guy out of here. Found the holy order. If we found that they're free to us, aren't they? Like, we can call them whenever because they're ours. Ukbara. Oh, can I put them... Can I put them here? Somewhere? Darn. No. <laughs> would be funny. Okay, we're gonna put them up there somewhere. Up there. Arg of Artani. Spending all we can on a holy order. What does he need to bring except that hat? <laughs> He's also wearing robes. And I'm sure he has a knickknack or two. Some Pope signed some secrets, you know. <laughs> okay, where is he now? Now there's been enough time. No, he's still sitting around in Rome. He's still sitting in Rome. And I can't abduct him because I don't, I don't, I'm not cool enough for that. <laughs> Let's go befriend the Pope. Let's go do it. Brother. <laughs> For example, one in a campaign, you had two popes in a row seduce two sisters of your character. <laughs> okay. Who does that say more about? Oh. Holy war for the kingdom of Italy? 
Now, the problem with the Holy War is, first of all, I can't afford it. <laughs> Second of all, uh, there's some Christian rulers that might have want that might want to have a say in that. But if we want to abolish the papacy, is the best way. I don't think we can do it in 20 years, but who knows? Yes, let's show this guy in and once. Let's have him. Okay, listen, chat though. Really, just listen to me here. I need your input. I need your advice. Can I? He's already my tax collector. Uh, court physician, excellent aptitude. Okay, you can be that. I need your advice. I need your input. I need your thoughts. Not so much your prayers, but definitely your thoughts. So, I'm playing Crusader Kings most of the time around here. But I also kind of want to do other things sometimes. I've cleared up the Monday and the Tuesday stream a little bit. So we can do some other things. But, I also don't want to, you know, do things that aren't so interesting to the people that come for Crusader Kings 3. Like, how do I balance that? How do we balance this? I want a genius son, and now that I have him, he is sickly. And ah, now. Luckily, I never care about traits, so if the good ones die, I just... Okay, I'll deal with it. That's fine. Let's see inactive accolades. Nope, definitely not destroy. I hate the accolades so much. Quality time with best friend. Sure, we'll take it. Oh God, there's so many windows open right now. I mean, we've taken Rome. From here, we can take basically everything. We can just conquer duchy by duchy. It will take forever. <laughs> so many duchies. Our uh, mercenary contract is expiring. That's fine. I have no intention of renewing it. You have an okay son already, but you know. Ah, that was, it's true. It's true. I think we're going to end the YouTube recording here. Oh, you're here for the silky voice. Oh, thank you so much. That is great to hear. See, I, I would like to attract people more to just spending time here together than necessarily for this specific game. Though I love Crusader Kings dearly. We're mightily impressed by my feet. <laughs> We're going to impress the Pope with the fact that we brought down the capital and the center of a world religion. All by ourselves. We fought off all the holy orders. We managed to win on our own merit, our own strength, our tenacity. He will be so impressed with this story about his own downfall that we brought about. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, good stuff. Groom to rule. And you got a lot of stewardship, so let's put you on the stewardship focus. Alliance power. The Grand Amulet of Sidaria. No, no, no. We, go, we only go matrilineal in this house. 3,100. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, but I wanted to finish the YouTube recording for now. So if you're watching over on YouTube, uh, thank you so much. And feel free to join us over on the Twitch anytime you like. Until you're on to then, bye-bye. Uh,